Hello, welcome to a very different video. This video, I'm going to be talking about Lacey Green. Uh, I found this person through our dear friends, our good friends, Anita Shark Girl and Jonathan uh, Idiot. I, I need to find a better name for him, but, um, oh my god, my nose is just fucking crazy and I have, like, a lot of phlegm. It's, it's, it's something, uh, but... Let's get started with this. I want to talk about Lacey Green because I don't know if I want to do a video on Lacey Green. Uh, and I'm just going to pose this, this video out there and just to say, would you want to see me cover Lacey Green? Uh, yes or no? Do you want me to cover her videos? Do you not want me to cover her videos? Whatever you decide, I, I will listen. So let's uh, just look at her, at her channel so I can explain to you... Um, you know, so my opinions of her. Right now, she doesn't have a discussion tab, which is kind of shitty. Uh, so, we can't really go to her discussion tab. But if you look at her videos, you, you, you start to notice a trend, right? Uh, they're all clickbaity. They're all, uh, you know, these uh, ridiculous uh, thumbnails that are just meant to, to attract a uh, click. Um... And they're all like four minutes long, five minutes long, they're very quick videos, and I think that's because uh, she wants you to go through and watch all, as much videos as you can, because she probably makes money off of each click of a video. Probably. I, I can't say for sure. Uh, and the other thing that I've noticed when I, you know, I watched some of her videos, as you can see, I watched some of them, um, her opinions are very lukewarm. Uh, she always tries to stay in the middle of a, of a discussion, and tries to sound agreeable, and it doesn't really work, and it kind of comes off uh, poorly because it, it it just seems that she wants she doesn't want to step on people's toes, but she wants to come she wants to state a stance that she believes in, but it doesn't feel that way, you know, like it doesn't feel that she believes what she says because she feels like she does this for money. For example, the triggered the trigger warning video is her trying to make the case that trigger warnings are, uh, you know, the internet has misused it, it's not this uh, thing about, like, safe spaces and all that, that's not, uh, that's not the necessarily the thing. Uh, trigger warnings are for people who have, like, traumatic experiences, and if you're going to talk about that, about something related to that experience, you need to tell them it ahead. But the thing is that that's what it's from. That's, it, people are using it, the way that it means, because uh, when I say something like, men are great, someone uh, is like, I am so offended, and, and they get and they get into like a fury about it. And that's where trigger warning comes from. That's why people use it in internet culture lately, because people get offended by so many things that they act like someone been through a traumatic experience that would just get like triggered by that. That's why people are using it. And she makes this video to kind of come up reasonable, because she kind of does, but she misses the point uh, as to why the internet uses triggered and trigger warning and why that's a thing. <clears throat> and she uses the fucking meme, the triggered meme, as her thumbnail uh, while she's trying to make a defense about it. So that's, that's helpful. Uh, then she has, I have HPV, so I really am... I, I'm, cautious about clicking this video because <coughs> sorry I'm dying on the inside after that Melissa video I recorded um I have HPV that 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 is so fucking clickbaity but look at these videos look at them uh this is very clickbaity but to be fair to be fair I actually watch this she actually wears what she has in the thumbnail so there you go you get you get some fan service there guys if you really care for that kind of stuff um, but yeah, she has, she has a lot of very weird videos, like, uh, I think I saw this one, and this one was very annoying, it's four minutes, and she's talking very fast, and it's kind of hard to, uh, listen, to sit through that, but, uh, yeah, it is what it is. So I don't know, uh, if I should be doing a video on her, uh, if you guys would like to see that or not. 
But um, hold on. Let's you know. Let, let's 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 watch the video. Let, let's um give you a little taste of of Le Lisey Green. Uh, let's do I'm pansexual. Okay, that that might be fun, right? Fun, fun, fun. Oh hi. At some point in my YouTubing, I mentioned that the closest identifier for my sexual orientation is pansexual. And then oh, and by the way, her videos have these annoying annotations, so uh, get used to that. Here it says, homosexual. Butt sex. And I got a few emails from you guys asking if I was attracted to pans. Should we tell them? We may have had a love affair or... 50. I remember this one time we got together with these poblano peppers. Three minutes, it's a three minute video and we're already into a pan joke. Get it? Be because pan, sexual pan. It's funny because it's a pan, guys. Her, her comedy is like up there. It's god tier. It's, she's at god level of comedy right now. I mean, like, there's, there's Lacey Green, I don't know, actually, no, no, Supreme God is Melissa, Melissa Fabaco or whatever, Fabello, Fabella, whatever, uh, her, she's, like, Supreme God tier, because she's fucking hilariously dumb, and that, you know, then there's Lacey Green with her pan joke, and then, you know, there's the rest of us, oh, DSP is up there too, I guess, but see, it's funny because it's a pan, she's just on that level of comedy that we only can dream of. So beautiful. But uh, those days are behind me, don't judge me. I moved on to greater things, such as pretending to have a love affair with pans because people think that's what pan sexuality means, but it's not. In 33 seconds and we finally move on from a pan joke. All seriousness, pansexuality just means that you experience attraction regardless of gender or sex. Pansexuality is sometimes described as being gender blind. You're a woman? Nice. You're a man? Great. Penises? Bring it out. Non-binary? Sweet. Boobs? Those are awesome. Can we cuddle now? Gender identity, gender expression, penises, vaginas, anything in between. It's not really a factor in my experience of attraction to people. So you're not attracted to pants, but you're attracted to everyone. No video alter ego pretend to be people. I'm not attracted to everyone. That would be very exhausting. I'm still concerned with someone's values, what kind of person they are. But so, so it sounds like you're just attracted to people or to a person. I, I, I don't, I don't get pansexuals. I don't. Kind of, it kind of sounds like bisexuals. Because, like, but, but, but I guess for pansexuals, it's like that you don't care about, uh, sexual preference, I guess, but whatever, I, I, I'm not gonna debate, debate that, but why does she talk like this? Guys, she talks like this, I, I don't, I don't know why. She is wearing a, uh, like a, a tank top. Uh, you know, she she has cleavage and she's talking like this. Are what they're doing with their life, how sexy I find them. It's just that their genitals and gender identity and gender expression have nothing to do with those things for me. So it's pretty straightforward, right? Oh, okay, we're gonna learn. Where things start to get a little murkier is when we talk about the difference between pansexuality and bisexuality. The good news is that we define labels. Labels do not define us. Think on that one and your head will start going around everywhere and you'll eventually be like, oh yeah, labels are just words to describe things that we feel. In a general sense, pan means all. Attraction to all genders and sexes. Bi means two. Attraction to two genders or two sexes. I think that's the simplest way to sum it up. Make it up. But there is only two genders. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I, I, it's that stupid biology class I take, I took in high school and, uh, college that we learned about there are only being two genders. I, I mean, it's just fucking dumb. When will science learn that there's other genders out there? Like... Yeah. 
uh, what you will. When it comes to things like sexual preference, it's important that each individual has the power to decide what that's going to mean for them specifically. I do get a lot of email from people asking, so am I bi or am I pan? And I have a secret for you. You get to decide. That question isn't for me or anyone else to tell you. You get to decide. That that's that's only like a fucking trap if I ever heard of one. Here's what I would do about this dilemma. And by the way, this doesn't just apply to the bi and pan thing. Take some time. I'm talking a long ass time. This could be several weeks. This could be several years. To think about your sexual preferences, to think about your experiences with attraction, think about what you like, what you want. And as you're thinking real hard philosophizing, finding yourself, keep in the back of your mind those general definitions. And when the time comes that you need a label to describe all of those thoughts that you have, pick the one that you think most accurately describes you and feels comfortable to use. Because sexual preference- Okay, let, let's see. Let's see what I would describe myself. What label? Um... Uh, uh, a thrown sexual and attraction to to thing to women, but it's not the same as heterosexuality, guys. Because uh, I I am interested in women of that are around my age age range age range. Okay, so yeah, guys. Prosexual over here. It's so varied amongst people. The chances of any label 100% describing you, pretty low. All right, y'all, I gotta bounce. There are people that are gonna be walking in here any minute. She recorded a video three minutes long about something that, that is very touchy, kind of touchy, and she and, and then she just kind of leaves. She, she leaves. She bolts out of the door like... Well, I just talked about something very touchy. Like, like, how can you do a video about pansexuality and talk about it within three minutes, waste uh, 30, like, 50 seconds on on a pan joke, and then say, the, well, I'm pansexual. Labels are labels. Be sure to pick a label that you want to be labeled as. Why not just be a fucking person and realize that the only labels that matter are things that matter? Oh, whatever. I don't have any pants on. Although I guess that's their problem, not mine. All right, y'all, I'll see you next week. Don't forget to add me on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter. I love that sh She sounds like someone, she, she reminds me of me when I started YouTube, guys. I would always plug uh, emails and stuff, like, very desperately, and that's what she's doing. But, um, okay. Shit, even more than pants. Yeah, that hot thing. Look at this. Look at this. This and this uh, title card. New vid every week. Every week. You know what? I I I kind of. How do lesbians have sex? What? Okay, let's let's watch this. I. Now, oh, hi, babes. God damn oh, I'm gonna oh, by the way, uh, the hi babes thing is a uh, thing that she does. That's that's her thing. I hope you I hope you liked it. I hope you like that because if uh, you guys want me to cover more Lacey Green, that that's what you have to look forward to. A really long time. I uh, accidentally went and spoke at a bunch of schools. I'll post some video of that eventually. But I thought she talks at schools. Your children are 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 victims of this. Her and Melissa are are two dangerous people to have at, at your school. I I would be concerned if if. Uh, Mostly if Melissa's there. Lacey Green, I mean, you, you might get a laugh, you might you might get something out of it, but if it's Melissa, fucking run. Today, hey, it's a great day! Let's talk about lesbian sex! Oh yeah, she does. Great. Um, so can you hear my computer humming really loud right now? Shh, it's okay. We're all just gonna have to put up with it right now. I don't know if y'all have noticed this, but people are really- we're all gonna have to put up with this now. Really confused about lesbian sex. People are confused. Porn is 
confused, I was confused. I figured between two dudes it was like this. And then it was told by guys at my school. I don't know why I was listening to guys at my school as an authority on lesbian sex, that's a different story. But they said lesbian sex goes like this. They're like, oh yeah, lesbians. Okay. Scissor. Which sounds like they chop each other's vaginas off, but that's not what happens, as it turns out. That she made a video about this. I, 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 I just want to make that abundantly clear. She made us a, a video about scissoring and explaining it. Okay. That was my first cue that people are really confused about lesbian sex. Another clue was that I was interacting with lots of queer women who themselves were like, how do we have sex? I know I like you, but I'm not quite sure how exactly I'm supposed to do it. It's so clear when you watch mainstream lesbian porn that it's there for straight dudes. It's like, that wouldn't even feel that good. Why are her nails so long? I think that the mainstream discourse about sex is that Sex requires a penis. When people think of sex, they think of penis and vagina sex. When they think of the end of sex, they think of the penis ejaculating. The mere thought that pleasurable sex could exist without a penis makes a lot of people go like, whoa, no, no. I've actually heard people say that lesbian sex is not real sex. Because if there's not a penis, it's obviously not real, right? Lesbian sex is just like everybody else's sex. Are you pleasuring someone else with your mouth? With your hands? With a sex toy? Are you pleasuring yourself while someone else is present? Are you naked? Is it possible that someone could have an orgasm in this situation? If you've answered yes to any of these questions, you are probably having sex. Some people like penetration, others don't. Some so if I masturbate, I'm having sex? Oh man, that, that blew my mind. <laughs> for oral. Touching thighs and backs, butts and boobs. These are all ways that lesbians have sex. I don't know. Probably having sex. Some people like penetrate. Most vagina owners. Okay. Uh, orgasm with clitoral stimulation rather than penetration. I'm glad I know that now. Now I know. Others don't. Some prefer oral. Touching thighs and backs, butts and boobs. These are all ways that lesbians have sex. Whatever happens, as long as it's safe and consensual, it's perfectly okay. How will you know when to end? Just ask. Are you ready to be done? A few things that I think are good to avoid would be comparing your body to theirs. It's really good to check in first, get consent, say, hey, is it cool if I do this? Ask them what it's okay to touch, what it's not okay to touch, or if there's anything they like in particular. Oh also good to avoid Guys, having some sort of goal. The most common being orgasm. Sometimes you gotta figure each other out a little bit first. But once you get there, oh yeah, babe, it's good. It's good. The best things about being a queer woman are easier to have tons of orgasms, vaginas, that should be the obvious one, and no pregnancy. You just Okay, compared to straight women, lesbian women orgasm more often, yes, because Let's make this into a uh, a comparison. Like, like oh, I'll well, see. Uh, they also have more oral sex. Okay. Sure. It doesn't mean that you cannot contract STIs. You gotta protect yourself. I've had a lot of requests yeah, but... asking how to protect yourself if you're in a relationship with another woman. Where are my dental dams? Damn it! The main way to protect yourself is with one of these bad boys, a dental dam. This is just a piece of latex that will provide a barrier to make sure you're not getting in contact with your partner's fluids. If you don't have dental dams, there is a solution for this. Male condoms are widely available. A little bit like this. Chop the tip off. <laughs> Chop it off. And then you'll have a little donut like this. Oh god. And you want to chop down one side. Ta -da! Another good thing that everyone should know about is latex gloves. This is especially good if you have cuts. Latex gloves. So if your partner is allergic to latex, well, you're fucked. On your hands or if your nails are sharp, blood can transmit STIs. I like totally gash myself with a knife. So it'd be a good time to use latex gloves. It smooths everything out, the textures a lot more velvety, add a little bit of lube, and this can actually feel really nice. Like your hand turns into a sex toy. I don't know about you, but that seems pretty hot to me. thing before I go and get out of your friggin face is to remember that before you enter into a sexual relationship with anyone regardless of your sexual orientation it's always a good idea just kind of know your own body first um that might include masturbating if 
you want to. Pull a mirror out and look at what's between your legs. Find the clitoris, find the opening to your vagina, find the anus, find your labia. Touch it all, like this. Touch it just like that. I will add any other stuff to the description. This um, is on- Yeah, happy vaginas! This is on YouTube. She goes to colleges, she goes to universities to talk. And she's talking about sex and how and how to have sex and all this stuff to two no uh, two million one hundred thirty six thousand one hundred seventeen people. I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Vagina. Wow. Vagina yippee. Let's take a look at a gander at the uh, at the comment section. Lesbian to have sex like everyone else does by having sex. Who get who gives a shit? Sex is good and people like sex because it feels good. Why we do we do it because we do. Whether being gay, bi, straight, and uh, when you're having having sex, you masturbate and it's okay. It's natural. Yeah. Before this vid, I didn't even know uh, how women could protect themselves with other women, and. Oh, I mean, they should really mention that uh, that shit, this shit in sex, in sex ed. Eh, yeah, I guess. Instructions unclear. Got penis stuck in food processor. I don't have a penis or a food processor. Okay. I don't get why she gets so much hate. Another DSP comment. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys! It's like it's like a thing. It's like a thing for shitty YouTubers to to say. I don't get why she gets the hate. Let's 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 look. To be honest, she is a very mellow feminist. Yeah, that's the point. That she she has to be a mellow feminist so that she can get the views. She's just straightforward and to the point. No, she's not. She just oh whatever. But she's often put into the same box as Anita and red-haired trolls, so that. That's pretty much why. No, it's because her videos are fluff videos. These videos are meant to gain money and views. She's clickbaiting. Honestly, honestly, the thing is that I don't really, I don't like have a neg strong negative opinion for Lacey Green. That's why I, I'm not sure if I should do a video on her to begin with, because um, it's not like oh, Lacey Green. She said this, and she this is why she's dumb. It's just that she is just. She she makes clickbaity videos and and, that, and that's what I don't like that that that's what I don't like that that's what I would be making a video about almost but I don't know if I should but uh I don't know I don't know let me know in the comments below if this is what you would like to see if you would like to see me cover more of Lacey Green uh because right now I I I'm just I don't know I don't know I'm confused I'm confused guys so thanks for watching see you in the future.